All right, so um, came across something there on the internet recently, and uh, just talking about workout splits. It was actually Rob Lipslet, if anyone follows Rob Lipslet, uh, and he was talking about a split when he was away on holidays. So I'll just talk briefly about workout splits, what we recommend here, what I'd recommend for people then that play GA. So, um, very quickly, if you're going six days a week, push pull legs. If you're going four days a week, upper lower. If you're going three days a week, either full body each day or upper lower full body. If you're going two days a week, full body each day. Now that could change in that one week you might get in six days, the next week you might get in two days. So in that scenario, you do your push pull legs on the six day week and you do your full body on the two day week. So that's where kind of a certain amount of knowledge comes in, which is the beneficial obviously if you're programming yourself, if you know your own body, if you're in tune with your own body, you'll have that knowledge and you'll be able to decide on what is best for you in that training session. Let's apply that to GA. If you're a college student, and you've all the time in the world on your hands and you get to the gym six days a week, no, you should not be doing push pull legs. No, you should probably not be lifting weights every single day unless you're also doing some form of cardiovascular fitness or some form of HIIT training or some form of low intensity training or moderate intensity training. Basically, your body is going to adapt to whatever stimulus you give it. If you give it nothing but weights, you're going to move away from where you need to be to be a good athlete, to be a good player on the pitch, whether it's football or hurling. If you've got the right blend of high intensity, moderate intensity, low intensity, weight training, and you're doing the right things in the gym, and you're doing the right things in the other components of, the, let's say, fitness, then you can put six days a week into the gym if you're getting the other things in as well. Now, most likely, you're not going to be able to train like a body builder six days a week and do your hit and do your low intensity stuff so it's very like it's not it's not simple okay uh, even the stuff that you're doing in the gym that's totally dictated by you know your training history how mobile you are uh, where you are in your season like there's so many different variants and variables and all that kind of stuff but if you are in the gym one piece of advice just try and get as strong as you can build a good bit of muscle but keep your fitness Keep your coordination, you need to have good balance. You need to be able to move left and right if you're playing GA. Bodybuilding in general, or gym work in general, is very up and down, but you can do a lot of lateral movements in the gym too. You can do a lot of single leg movements, you can do a lot of stuff on balance. You need to incorporate those into your training. If you're not flexible enough, you need to get your flexibility to a point where you are flexible enough, and then you just need to maintain that. And if you've got injuries, you need to be in the gym because that's what's going to look after your injuries. If you don't have injuries, but you're getting a little bit older, you need to get to the gym because getting to the gym, lifting weights, is going to reduce your risk of injury. Oh, <laughs> shit.